Okay, howdy campers. We're going to talk today about uh, 10 useful uh, electronic devices that I found useful for uh, camping with the A-liner or this goes for any small travel trailer as well. Of course, one of the most helpful things, uh, electronically wise, is a uh, suitcase solar panel, which I have hooked up here. It's very simple, okay, and uh, has a built-in charge charge controller that's built in right here that tells you what it's at. This is a 60 watt, by the way. So 60 watts, plenty if uh, you're running your refrigerator with propane. If you're running your refrigerator off uh, 12 volt, 60 watt ain't gonna cut it with one battery, no way that'll cut it. But refrigerator takes up the most amount of electricity and you can you know, run your fantastic fan, not all day, not 24 hours a day off this, but you can run it during the day definitely. When it's charging and you can run it uh, you know, some at night too, no doubt about it. Okay, now having a uh, large capacity inverter like this, which still isn't that big, it can be really useful. This is a 750 watt inverter. And of course I got the alligator clips clamped on. And what you can do with this is a couple things. You can use uh, your house battery or an extra 12 volt battery, which I usually carry with me, uh, clip the alligator clamps on. And if you have a, uh, uh, a AGM sealed battery, you could actually bring the AGM sealed battery inside here, clamp these alligator clips on, and you know you have outlets right inside when you're dry camping, plus you have a USB outlet right here, as you can see. So you could use it just like that. Another thing you can do is you can have this hooked up outside and you can hook it up to, again, a 12 volt battery and hook your shore power right into this, which I have done before. So I've hooked a shore power, uh, my electrical outlet right into this. And then what that does, it allows you to use your, uh, all of your uh, power outlets, you know, in the trailer. Like I can use these, these would be on at that point, as long as I don't put anything that would put it over capacity. I can use all the power outlets in the trailer. Okay, so that's why a big capacity one like that is, is definitely you can use it. Dry camping especially uh, could be useful. Another USB charger I like. I like these kind of small portable ones better than the ones that plug in that are like the smaller version of this. Okay, I don't like the smaller versions of this as much as I like this because it'll you can plug it into your USB outlet and it's not going to be laying on the floor or something. It'll just be sticking out and it'll give you an outlet. Also gives you a USB. You can also use these in the car real easily. They're just more convenient than uh, a lot of your standard inverters uh, like this. So I really like this, it's just so convenient. You just plug it in and it acts just like a regular outlet does uh, in a dry camping situation. So I really like that. Okay, another charger that's handy is this is just a solar charger to uh, charge electronic devices, okay, especially useful for dry camping. Again, it just saves a little bit on your uh, house battery and you don't have to be using the house battery if you only have one 12 volt uh, plug in your trailer you don't have to use it for electronics you, you mean if there's something else you want to use it for now, I like these kind because they have the dual uh, solar panel here which opens up and these will charge up in the Sun fairly fast and you can certainly charge your devices actually, I actually have two of these okay and as you can see here okay there's a USB outlet you can also charge it uh, with a wall charger with that and then there's a second USB outlet here so you can actually be charging two devices at the same time so again it's just something else it doesn't take up much space okay and it's handy uh, especially dry camping and when you're traveling too Okay, certainly you want to have, uh, as far as electronics, a uh, radio. And if you're going to have a radio, why not have one that has uh, as many features as you can get? And this really wasn't that expensive. So I can power it up with solar. There's a place in here for batteries, okay? And I can also have a hand crank here where I can crank it up uh, using the hand crank, okay? So you just use a hand crank like that. So that way, 
you can get have a radio anytime. Now this also has uh, FM, okay? It has uh, short wave, okay? And it also has a uh, like emergency weather channel on here, okay? And then you have the telescoping antenna. So it's that way you got different options as far as what you're listening to and uh, different power options. So, you know, I've been real pleased with that. You know, the durability of these types of things, you know, certainly is questionable. Um, how long it'll last. If you're just using something like this occasionally, I think it's going to last quite a long time. Okay, you can also see you got some power outlets here. You got headphones, speakers, USB if you want to power anything off USB. I usually don't do that kind of stuff. Um, so, again, very useful item, I think, to have as a small electronic. Another thing very useful to have are a couple, at least a couple solar uh, lanterns. Okay, this is an older E-Tech City. I don't even think they sell this anymore on Amazon. They have kind of new and improved ones. I've been really pleased with this, okay? It puts off a good amount of light, okay? It has uh, two settings, kind of a low and a high setting. It powers really well with uh, the solar. If you leave it out all day, you'll get three, four hours easily uh, out of the battery. Okay, and then this is nice to have because it's just real usable. You can hang it different places. This is one of those cube solar lanterns that you blow up, okay, like that. And it's really compact, doesn't take up a lot of space. And this is decent too, just to hang. This gives you enough light to see in here. Uh, if you have it right above your head, it's enough light, light to read and stuff too. And this definitely gives enough light to read. So when I have both of these on in the trailer, if I want to conserve my battery power, instead of using the lights in the trailer, which use more, more uh, electricity than I would like, I usually would just use these. Saves a lot of battery power and gives enough light to light the trailer quite satisfactorily. And of course, you can use them outside. Don't have to worry about carrying a bunch of batteries for it because they're solar. So uh, really like these a lot. Okay, this is a handy gadget here. Um, this is something you can uh, plug in. It'll give you, it's a voltmeter. You can plug into uh, any 12 volt outlet in your trailer and it'll tell you uh, the voltage on your, on your house battery. So it's a little, this digital display here. I do it now, but um, I have the fuse uh, disconnected from the trailer because I don't like to have it plugged in. Uh, stupid carbon, di carbon dioxide battery detector takes up way too many amps, so I don't like to have it uh, hooked up normally. But you, this works, believe me. It just has a little display here, and that gives you an idea uh, what your voltage is. So this is good for people who are just using one battery and they don't have a solar setup or they have a charge controller that's always telling them. If you don't have that, this is uh, really handy to have, and it'll tell you where your battery's at. Just plug it in, display will light up and tell you exactly where you're at as far as your battery goes. Okay, now we don't watch uh, much television when we're camping, but it is nice to have a small portable TV. See how big this is? This is like a, uh, I think six or seven inch uh, TV. Uh, it's very portable. This is just a tripod I have that I actually use with the camera a lot. It fits right on. So we don't use this very much, but because it's small enough to fit into my regular little bag I have for electronics, uh, it's convenient to have. And so, you know, there's definitely times where it's nice to watch TV for a little bit in the evening, depending on the campground you're at, because, you know, we're not always at remote campgrounds. You know, we're near Tampa sometimes, Orlando, or other places in Florida, where you can get some stations, okay, if you have an antenna. Okay? And then, of course, this it has a lithium battery in it, charges with this, you got to plug it in. So, you know, I'm normally only using this uh, where we have electricity, okay? Although this, you know, is a lithium battery, and you can run it for two to three hours off the lithium battery if you want if you're a place where you don't have electricity so it definitely works okay now as far as using a small television camping uh, for antennas I mean this is what I've liked the best this is a small uh, portable magnetic antenna see it's not very big at all and this comes apart so it's very easy to bring it takes up hardly any space unlike a lot of antennas you might get so I'm going to screw this on and then this has a magnet and I'll show you where I put it on the A-liner outside here in a second. But you know that's again real convenient uh, to use. Okay so here's the antenna outside and it's a magnet so it will only attach to like something metal. So here on this hot water heater uh, outside here attaches to this. Um, you see it's hooked up. Unfortunately it does have, I wish it had a longer cord. It's plugged into the uh, car park ready cable outlet, which it works fine for that. You know, like it'll stick on this, okay? Um, but it doesn't stick 
you know, in many other places. And because it's not a long cable, you don't have a lot of options. It doesn't stick up here where it'd be better. And what happens is when it's attached to the metal, this whole metal thing becomes part of the antenna, like it becomes part of it. And that's why this small antenna can get some pretty decent reception. But I will say, that if you're in a place with a lot of trees around you, uh, you may not get any reception or much reception at all, even when you're close to a big city. I've had that happen. But I've been in places, like I was at Fort Wilderness a few weeks ago, and I got 60 stations, okay, on this. Now, not all of them were coming through consistently, probably half of them, but that was still pretty good. And there were trees around me. So I can't guarantee this is going to work great everywhere you go, but because it's so small and if you don't use TV that much, it's still a nice thing to have and you'll get some use out of it. I mean, you can get even a couple stations, uh, you know, if you're bored and just want something else to see at night, then, you know, this will work for you. Okay, another something you might find handy, especially dry camping, is uh, carrying a couple uh, portable radios with you, portable walkie-talkies. These are Cobras, which I really like. These can... Uh, be charged. They have lithium batteries in them. You can charge them up that way. And they also have a battery compartment. You can uh, put alkaline batteries in also. So it gives you a couple of different options. So, you know, these aren't something I use a lot, but if you're dry camping, especially a place that doesn't have good cell service or non-existent, if you're kind of out in the boonies, uh, this is one way to communicate if somebody's out doing something a mile or two away. I wouldn't trust it much more than a couple miles away in a heavily forested area. Uh, I don't think you're going to get reception better than that. Um, you know, or uh, traveling, if I'm traveling in tandem with people and they're following me, this is a good way. You hand them one of these and you can talk without having to call back and forth on your cell phones. I've found it useful in that manner. Um, so, you know, they're just something handy to have. They don't take up much space. So uh, why not have them? Because you uh, may not use them a lot, but the times where they come in handy, you'd be like, yeah, I'm glad I got these with me. Okay. This is especially useful. I also had this on my 10 tips and tricks for A-liner video, but this uh, Hometics uh, just kind of noisemaker, okay, I found so useful uh, for sleeping, the white noise to drown things out, noise out when you're trying to sleep, whether it's snoring or other things, or useful for the dog, dogs to keep them from barking when, you're, when you leave them, okay, for the day. Because uh, you can use, you know, the different sounds to drown out noises, okay, and it'll keep the dogs, I think, from barking, okay, like they normally would. So this can be plugged in. It has an outlet, which we use at home sometimes, and it also runs on alkaline batteries, okay. So again, found this extremely useful. Okay, I hope you found the video useful. I will have uh, links to most or all of the products that I've shown here, uh, Amazon links in the description box below. So if you're interested in checking the prices out on any of them, just look in the description box below.